Hey guys, David here. I just want to show you a quick stretching routine. This is three main stretches, and these are going to target sort of these commonly overactive musculars, muscles in men. And two of them would apply to women too. So we're going to stretch the hamstrings, the hip flexors, and the chest. And the chest and the hip flexors are also pretty tight in women normally, but for some reason they don't tend to have as tight hamstrings, so whatever, you know. I'm making this video for men, but you know, it applies to women as well. And the reason for these tightness, these tightnesses, these tight and I, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about, is that we have this sort of anterior dominated society. What I mean by that is when we're driving our car, we're like this, we're sitting at work on the computer, we're like this, and we're always leaning forward like this. So we're sort of holding our body like this throughout the day, and that's gonna keep the chest, the chest muscles shortened. It's gonna keep them tight because they're always shortened. It's gonna shorten their natural resting length. And the same thing for the hamstrings and the hip flexors, right? If your legs are bent like this in your car, you know, working at work all day, this muscle is shortened here, lengthened here, but you're holding it shortened throughout the day. Same thing here, shortened as opposed to lengthened. And you know, it hampers their natural resting length and gives you a reason to stretch them. So these are three stretches I recommend doing after your workout because before the workout there's some, and there's some controversy here, but there's some literature that shows that pre-workout stretching for, you know, holding prolonged stretches like this, you know, for 30 seconds can reduce the, you know, the amount of force you can produce using those muscles for a period of time afterwards. So, you know, in other words, it can hamper your strength for your workout. So it's better to go with the mobility dynamic warm up beforehand, which I also have available on my channel if you search for that. But you know, without further ado, let's get into this. So first for the hamstring, we're gonna do this sort of, this stretch here. Hope you can see that. So you know, this foot's coming in here. This foot's straight out, flat, this is leg flat on the ground. And you're gonna come over here to the point of resistance. So you know, if you can come all the way out to grabbing your foot and leaning over here and relaxing, that's great. If you can only get here, that's fine too. Just get to the point of resistance, chill there for 30 seconds, flip legs, you know, same exact thing here, leaning forward, 30 seconds, no need to bounce or anything, just get into that deep position, hold it, you know, maybe hold it 15 seconds and then see if you can get a little bit deeper for the last 15 seconds. That's gonna be your hamstrings. Next for the hip flexor, Right here, what you're gonna do is get into sort of this, this lunge stance right here, this knee down, that back foot just sort of flat down against the ground. And you're gonna lean forward. The main thing being to keep your chest up here. So you're gonna get into this and you're sure gonna push your hips forward and down, keeping your chest up. And just sort of keep pushing your upper body forward so you really feel a stretch right here in the hip. And then you're gonna hold it. You can leave your hands here on the side or it's more comfortable, you can keep them on the, the knee, or to sort of push against the knee a little bit to uh, create even a little bit more separation here. 30 seconds on that side. You get the, you know, get some front angle action right here. You switch sides. Same thing. 30 seconds on this side. And then after that, to do the chest, I'm gonna have to readjust my camera here. You're gonna have to find a piece of wall, the corner of a wall, and then what you're gonna do, there's a fucking hair on my wall, man. And you're gonna first, right angle with the elbow here, you're gonna put, smack that against the wall there, and then you're gonna turn your body this way. I like to keep my hand on my belly, to keep my shoulders square. I'm just gonna keep turning this way until you feel a strong stretch through here, you know, through the, uh, the pec and up through the armpit. And you're just gonna go same thing as over there. Don't need to bounce around or anything. Just get in that deep stretch, 30 seconds. Now you can see the flip side of this. This hand will go here, this right angle. Turn this way, 30 seconds. You should be feeling loose as hell after this. Nice, you know, nice stretch chest, hamstrings, hip flexors. This is by no means all inclusive. You know, these just happen to be three commonly tight muscles. And I'd say probably the three most important muscles for 
for you to stretch, for the average American man to stretch, probably for the average human being male to stretch. And I'm just talking shit now. So I'm going to cut this video off here. But, you know, do these three stretches after your workout and stay beastly.